This is a short video from Dan's Clock Shop on how to change a standard clock movement. Start by removing the old movement. The old hand should just pull off. Most movements are held in place with a hex nut. To make this easier, you may want to use an 11mm socket if you have one. The old movement will then come away from the clock face. Unless you have purchased more than one movement, you will receive your new movement in a small bag with a set of instructions. The washers and nut are already usually placed on the spindle part of the movement. You will need to remove these first. Place the black rubber washer over the movement spindle and then push the spindle through the hole in the clock face. You need to make sure that the hanger, if you have one on the movement, is pointing up towards 12. The brass washer goes on next and this is just used to cover up any ragged edges there might be. Next to go on is the hex nut and this just keeps everything in place. Again, you might want to use the socket just to get it a little bit tighter. Holding the movement at the back, the hour hand goes on first. Just to let you know that not all hands and movements are compatible and if you find your hands don't fit, please just drop us a line for further advice. Okay, the minute hand goes on next. Just to make things a little bit easier, you might want to place the hands pointing up towards 12. The second hand just needs to slot onto the spindle. Now you just need to use the winder at the back of the movement to make the hands do a full rotation of the clock face. This just makes sure that the hands can move freely and there's nothing to stop them sticking or catching. If you find the hands do catch or stick, you may just need to bend them slightly. Now you can put the battery in and we always suggest using an AA alkaline battery that's fully charged. And there you have it. Standard clock movement change from Dan's Clock Shop. Thank you for watching.